I'm sitting on a Go Raleigh bus, just like buses you would find headed up and down Capitol Boulevard as part of Go Raleigh's Route 1 service. I'm using this route to illustrate some important concepts about what makes a transit route useful. First of all, this is a very efficient and direct service. It runs on a major street, Capitol Boulevard. It connects two big destinations, Triangle Town Center in the north and downtown Raleigh in the south. So it's anchored at both ends and all along the line are additional jobs and residences that generate ridership all along the length of the route throughout the day. It's also a very easy to understand service because if you want to catch the number one bus, you go to Capitol Boulevard. The route map tells you where the bus goes, but it doesn't tell you how long it runs and how long you'll have to wait for it. How long the bus runs, the hours of service, is referred to as the span, and the Route 1 has the largest span of service in the Go Raleigh system. It runs from 5 a.m. in the morning till midnight. So if you work at an early morning shift, or say you work at a restaurant and you get off at 10 p.m. and need to get home, this route has you covered. The map also doesn't tell you how long the trip will take, and a lot of people would associate the length of the trip with the speed of the vehicle, but in fact the frequency, how often the vehicle shows up at the transit stop, is more important than speed. A fast bus that you have to wait 45 minutes to catch is going to get you home a lot later than a slower bus that you have to wait 10 minutes to catch. And this route has the highest frequency in the Go Raleigh system. For much of the day, it runs every 15 minutes. The Wake County Transit Plan does for the entire system what the Route 1 does for Capitol Boulevard. Routing will in general become more direct and more efficient. Buses will run with greater frequency and they'll run at the same frequency for a longer period of time from early in the morning to late at night. And the schedule will be the same seven days a week so that the same schedule will be available on Sunday as it is on Monday. Raleigh is becoming what real estate professionals call an 18 hour city. And that means that fewer of our jobs are tied to a strict nine to five schedule. Seven day a week, 18 hour service that's frequent, reliable, will tie our city together and allow people to access their jobs as well as other day-to-day -day needs without a car.